Okay, so today we're going to continue with Mark 1. Uh, we're going to memorize, uh, I'm going to show you how I'm memorizing Mark 1, 9 through 13. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to a sermon by Pastor Rocky. Watch it. Even if you knew every, if you know everything he, you know, uh, preached about, um, it's a good reminder. Um, I loved it. You know, you want to know, you know, why Jesus got baptized. Uh, you want to know why you should say I love you to your father, mother, uh, wife, son. Um, you want to know, um, gosh, you know, um, Jesus, you know, going through uh, the temptations, why he had to um, uh, in the wilderness. It, it's just, uh, it's a good reminder. Uh, watch it and then come back here and uh, memorize it. So, all right, so we're going nine. If you didn't watch my other video, uh, my one through eight, then you don't know what's going on. If you don't know what the memory palace is, you don't know what's going on. There's so many links out there or so many um, resources out there on the memory palace, but I, I, I always put the links in my video, so uh, in the description, so watch those if you don't know what that is. But that's how I'm going to be memorizing it. So in those days, all right, so this is verse nine. This information booth is verse nine. Right here, the carpet is verse 10. Let's go to verse 11. Okay, so this is the next section that I'm going through, okay, uh, inside uh, this area. So verse 11 will be here. Verse 12 will be this poster. Uh, verse 13 will be this section, all right? And then verse 14 is here, and then verse 15 is here, all right? We're not going to do, we're going to do 14 and 15 and all that later. So verse 9 first, in those days... Uh, so this information booth, this in reminds me that in those days, okay? Then there's like map, 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 maps here. So I just imagine Jesus with a cane for Jesus came. And then he opens it up. He came from Nazareth in Galilee. That's, you know, how I'm going to memorize it. Nazareth in Galilee. I can't, I don't have images for that. Anyways, and was. So and is an ant. Maybe it was is a wasp wasp but i kind of just imagine and you know jesus being baptized by john in the jordan that's in michael jordan right here uh let me do this pointer thing make it visible okay so that's what i'm going to imagine on this concrete and was baptized by john in the jordan you can use michael jordan if i said that already i apologize and then verse 10 will be here this red carpet okay immediately i don't have a really image for that but whatever I'm watch whatever starts with immediately. I kind of just imagine this whole thing happening. There, it's in a rush that it happens right away. So immediately coming up out of the water. So I imagine Jesus, he's being baptized, right? So he's coming out really quick. Maybe he has a comb for immediately combing up out of the water, right? Coming up out of the water. So, and then he saw, um, you could imagine maybe a he-man right here and he's sawing the heavens open. Okay, he saw the heavens opening, and it opens up, and the spirit like a dove. So a uh, sprite can, and it's transforming. It, it looks like a dove, I guess, descends upon him. Uh, maybe I'll use something like that. Um, and then verse 11, let's see. Verse 11 right here is this section. So end of voice. So maybe an ant um, is performing at the voice, the voices, uh, the TV show. Uh, and maybe he has a cane for came and he's busting out of the heavens. So I imagine maybe this is heavens right here. You are my beloved son. So I don't, I didn't really create anything. Maybe, uh, right here somewhere, there's a big you here. Um, that's my image for you are my beloved son. Beloved is a bee with a heart and a sun is a bright sun. I didn't really create anything because I just know it's you are my beloved son. In you is something that I had to create. So I imagine this section being this potted plant right here. It has a U here and it's going inside. So in you, I am well pleased. This potted plant is a well. So that's my image. So you are my beloved son. In you, I am well pleased. Okay. Now here, verse 12, immediately again. So this one is being in a rush. I just imagine the spirit telling Jesus to go out into the wilderness. This picture here is posted as Jurassic World, so it's kind of easy to remember that this is a wilderness. So immediately the spirit impelled him to go. Impaled, maybe you could just imagine a pale, or not pale, 
yeah, like a pail, you know, water pail or something. And he's throwing it inside as well. He's saying, go, go, go out into the wilderness, something like that. Okay, verse 13, I use this section, so four sections here because I broke it up. And he was in the wilderness 40 days being tempted by Satan. And he was with what? With the wild beast. What? And he was with the wild beasts and the angels ministered to him. So here, and he man, uh, he was in the wilderness. So there's like a bunch of plants here. So this is my image for wilderness as well. 40 days. We know he was 40 days, but uh, maybe I imagine him. The, the, a beer used to be, there's a, used to be called a 40, right? So uh, maybe it still is. I don't know. But I imagine maybe he's drinking beer here. I don't know. Kind of weird. But I, you don't have to memorize that, you know, he was there for 40 days, right? Um, being tempted. So a bee here is throwing a temperature thermometer at Jesus. That's my image to remember, okay, being tempted by Satan right here, okay? And then, and he, so ant and he man sitting on this bench here, and there's a bunch of wild beasts. You could imagine there was a story when I was a kid, storybook called, the beasts in the wild or wild beasts, whatever. I have that image of those um, uh, wild beasts here. So, and he was with wild beasts right here and the angels. So I imagine angels um, ministering. Um, I, I kind of imagine him like bandaging him up for some reason. Um, I know that's, you know, that's not what they were doing. Like, uh, but and the angels, I just imagine angels here ministering to Jesus right here. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm going to recite it. Uh, let's see how I do. Okay, so um, verse 9 was, In those days Jesus came from uh, Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Verse 10, Immediately uh, coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opening and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. Uh, verse 11, and a voice came out from the heavens. You are my beloved son. In you, I am well pleased. Immediately, the spirit impelled him to go out into the wilderness. Last verse 13, uh, and he was in the wilderness 40 days being tempted by Satan and he was with what with the wild beasts and the angels were ministering to him okay um yeah like i guess i watched the sermon for me i think you know it um baptism was a big thing for me uh, i grew up in the church but i refused to get baptized every time somebody oh gosh how many times people say you got to get baptized you got to get baptized blah 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 and i was like no i'm like that makes no sense i know baptism doesn't save me so why should I get baptized? And it's like, well, it's something you should do. I was like, well, we should be doing a lot of things that Jesus told us to do. I remember saying that. And we don't do that. So why are you pushing me about being baptized? Now that I know what baptism is, and, you know, I, back then I, was, I refused. It was a pride thing. You know, I refused. Um, I didn't know what baptism was. I didn't. Jesus was not my Lord, for sure. I was my Lord even though I grew up in the church and I had the wrong Jesus, I had the wrong God, you know, anyways. Um, so now like, I, I, I like to explain like, Z, you know, I hope, you know, I'm not gonna force you to be baptized because I believe, I truly believe that Christians will want to get baptized because they want to do what Jesus tells them to do because Jesus is Lord. And Jesus was obedient to his father, God, Right. That's why. And it was the right thing to do. Um, and that's why he got he, he it wasn't about like John's baptism was about like repenting and confessing their sins, you know, being washed. But that Jesus didn't sin. He was, uh, you know, uh, he knew no sin. Second Corinthians 521. Um, but he did it because that's what God asks to do. So he did it. So if you're if you think Jesus is Lord, then that's something you're going to want to do. Right. It's about being obedient and you want to. Tell everyone that, yeah, Jesus is Lord in your life. So I'm not going to force you to do it, but uh, I hope you do because you'll know 
and yeah, and I'm going to talk to you about that too. I'll be like, you know, if you tell me you want to get baptized, I'm, I'm going to tell, ask you why. And if you're just saying it all oh, because you want me to, or because I, you know, somebody told me I need to, then I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow it because <laughs> that's definitely not why uh, you should be getting baptized. But anyways, um, I'm just glad I went through that um, because now I know, you know, you know, if it wasn't for that, then I think I, I would have taken baptism for granted. Um, I wish I was obedient a way more earlier. I, you know, I wish God was my Lord. I wish I knew Jesus Christ as my, as, as Lord before. And I hope that you do too. Um, because yeah, um, it's the only way, uh, for the wages of sin, Romans 6, 23, I'm memorizing Romans right now and Romans 6, Romans 6, 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Remember, he's our Lord. Um, we can't be reconciled with God if we don't recognize who Jesus is, who God is, what God did for us through Jesus Christ. Um, and then because we don't, we know Jesus is Lord, that's why we get baptized. This doesn't save us, but it's being obedient to him. Okay. But anyways, I hope this helps you watch the sermon. I hope this helped you memorize uh, this portion if you want to. And then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, we'll do uh, what we got 14 through. Oh, yeah. Let's do another one. 14 to 20 um, on the next video. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.